McKay from the AMD World Championship. We're here today in Sturgis 2010 and I have Walt with me from Pro Charger. Pro Charger has made a real classic entry into the modified Harley class and we're going to talk a little bit about with Walt about what we were trying to achieve here with this particular entry. Thanks for coming Walt. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for talking to me. Um, what we'd like to know here is just what was your intentions and your uh, design objective in building this particular bike? Well, the, the goal was, um, you know, we started with a, with a rocker, Harley Davidson rocker. Kind of the goal was that, you know, it's already a, a low and long, uh, uh, kind of, you know, racy performance style, you know, style cruiser. Uh, obviously that fits a lot with, with what we do. Uh, kind of the goal was to give the, to still keep some of the classic Harley lines, but yet uh, do something that you know any person could easily duplicate. You know, something that would look cool for uh, you know for something on the you know your your local uh, bike night or something like that. Well, I noticed right off being a rocker that you've made some modifications into the seat and rear fender. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Uh, on the back here, we, we did get rid of the uh, the stock Harley seat fender setup. Uh, we've gone with a Harley USA setup that was uh, that we had custom painted to match to the, the the rocker colors, so that it gives you that rocker feel. It's quickly recognizable as a rocker, but something's a little bit different. So that was kind of the, the goal behind it. Well, I would imagine from Pro Charger there'd be a huge uh, interest in performance. So let's talk a little bit about this particular power plant. If, and the modifications made, did you have to do anything else to accommodate for the Pro Charger? And tell us a little bit about what the Pro Charger does for us. All right, well basically what we decided to do was, you know, our systems are uh, fit on stock bikes uh, up to highly modified bikes, but the, the cool part is is that we make such big power on stock bikes, we wanted to show us what we could really do on a stocker. This is a bone stock 96 inch bike with just a supercharger kit added. Um, you know, so basically we took this bike from, you know, low 70s at the rear wheel to 122 at the rear wheel just by bolting the kit on. Well, that's a pretty decent increase in horsepower. Uh, is it real difficult or what type of uh, technical skill set is involved in uh, attaching one of these Pro Chargers? Well, our kit is a complete bolt-on installation. A first-timer in his driveway at home can get this setup done in, you know, in about the six-hour six time frame. So this is something that, you know, if the guy's got a cool bike, but he wants to go a little bit one step extra and make some extra power, you know, uh, Saturday in the driveway, he can get this kit, get, kit bolted on. Well, with 122 horsepower, I bet they got to be concerns in stopping. So have you made some modification and brakes and wheels? Yeah, absolutely. On this bike, we have uh, one of the very first Roland uh, Sands design set of chrome domino wheels. Uh, worked with Roland on this when we really originally started putting this kit together. Uh, so it's got RSD uh, wheels and calipers, or wheels and uh, rotors, I'm sorry. We used the Behringer front brakes for some extra stopping power because, uh, you know, we uh, wanted to make sure we get all that power woed down, so. Well, it looks like a pretty fine execution. Now, are these particular Pro Chargers readily available? Absolutely, yeah. You can, uh, you can uh, go to your local dealer, have one of these kits in your hands in about two weeks and install it in a day and you'll be ready to rock. Well, I know Sturgis is a busy time, Walt, and I appreciate you uh, taking the time to talk with us and also supporting us and in entering into the AMD World Championship. Thanks a lot, Walt. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Hello, this is Suki, and you're watching the AMD World Championships of Custom Bike Building Vidcast. We are sponsored in part by Harley-Davidson Motorcycles, Kibble White Precision Machining, and J&P Cycles.